Salud familia, Angel Anderson here. The video you're about to listen is a conversation I had with Adele a couple days ago about time management, productivity, running multiple businesses at the same time when you're a solopreneur and managing different social media accounts slash profiles by yourself. <laughs> you were gonna ask me I want to get your advice your opinion on I'm working both doing solar solar panel sales as well as promoting a real estate education maybe the reason why this is in my own monkey mind my own you know the the trickster mind the the, the mind that is, is against me saying that The people that I'm promoting it to, let's say I'm doing it on Facebook. Okay. I'm promoting solar and I'm also promoting the real estate education. And my thing is why I haven't been doing it and approaching as many people as I could be because that's kind of holding me back. What will people think since I'm promoting? They, who are they going to know which Adele to go to? Are they going to know to go to solar Adele or are they going to know to go to real estate Adele? So there is... Uh is it okay? Yeah, there is a uh, two schools of thoughts. The ho typical, the hustler uh, school of thought will say, um, "Tell everybody what you're doing, mm -hmm. and whoever doesn't like it, they can unfriend you and follow you." <laughs> okay. Uh, the other one is to split it. Mm -hmm. Now, I have split things in the past, but when it comes to splitting, uh, whether it's websites or Facebook pages, mm -hmm. then we become the challenge. My challenge became with managing all those platforms. Yeah. So you have to put in a scale. Mm -hmm. What, what, which one is not the worst? Yeah. And, and so. What do you mean? Which one's not the worst? So are you, are you, are you afraid that you're going to piss off some people? Or are you going to, and, and or there's some people are going to be mad at you because you're sharing so many things and they don't know which one you are what day? No, you know what? Now that you asked me that question, I think that I would be, not I think, it's maybe that, you know, I love my family and I know they love me and they want me to succeed, mm -hmm. but they, they see me doing different things. You're trying to, it's understandable, you know, whether you are trying to find your path or you are dabbling in a few different things that you have passionate about. Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong. You know, uh, some people uh, have a full time job and a side gig. Mm -hmm. And that it doesn't mean that you don't love your full time job. You have other passion or mm -hmm. other needs. So. Interesting. So okay. another thing, another, another thing that you can do is. Uh, so if I, if I was in your position and you have any doubt, I would post, hey, you know, guys, I've been struggling for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I know I, currently I'm doing solar panel and real estate education. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, it can be assessed excessive when I post on the uh, on my page. Which one of the two you would like to see the most or you don't care? Mm -hmm. Just At the end of the day, it's up to you if you want to value that input or not. Yeah. Uh, However, if you are worried about what is in your personal page, mm -hmm. then have you thought about creating and just posting on your adult page instead of personal profile? I don't know what that means. So you and I are friends on Facebook. Yes. And you know that I have marketing as a, as a, as a business page. Mm -hmm. okay. But did, have you seen Angel Anderson? Instead of Angel Francisco Anderson, it's Angel Anderson, comma, MBA. That's my, my, my actual page. And, and I bring my, the phone here. Okay. So anything that is business, I typically post there. Mm -hmm. So I will, go, I will go page. Is it still connected to the same with all the friends that you have on your personal page? No. No? No. You, you can invite them. So you can invite those. And, and, you know, for example, your mom might not be, you know, or that. So okay. this is my... Because I do have a Keller Williams page. Okay. That one is when I first started doing real estate. That one I have. So... And you can change the name, so you don't have mm -hmm. to start a new one. So if it, that one was yours, uh, and if you want to, did he say Adele Keller, Keller Williams, or what was the name? Oh, I uh, Keller Williams. Just say it has my name. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook allows you to change the name if you want to rebrand for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, now the the only thing is you have to keep in mind that by you posting multiple places, mm -hmm. 
then it becomes a technology time consuming mm-hmm. I'm posting so one thing that I do sometimes and I'm gauging this to see if it works is that I post mainly my Facebook page and I'm very selective what I reach here in my personal mm-hmm. page uh, but then there is a third school of thought that mm-hmm. if you feel that you should not share on your personal page mm-hmm. then you should not be doing it yeah so, but I, I don't mind sharing yeah. all of it. I just want to know about how, if I go about start doing, you know, solar and saying this is this is what I'm doing. I'm at a you know a potential customer's house for solar. I'm here, you know, I'm doing it because I like doing the Facebook lives. Yeah, I would yes, be doing yes. it that way. Yeah, I, it, it's kind of my battle is confusing people. So if that if that is your hold up right now, then my advice will be to the quick answer is to separate them on a, a different page: Adele Solar, Adele Edu, uh, Real Estate. But you probably will lose the traction that you will be getting every time you pop up the phone, and yeah. and because you do get a lot of traction, I do get a lot. Of traction. So can you try maybe try to. For a little bit, for a time, until you get over that, you know, that, that mindset, prefer the title when you, you know, solar topic or, you know, real estate related, mm-hmm. and then start with the, you know, the description of the title. Okay, and so maybe, just kind of like... Preface it, so when people are scanning for the headlines, mm-hmm. they get an idea what it is. However, a lot of people are going to jump no matter what you do, because they will support you 100% yeah, in every true. venture you That's do. That's true. I found that So, too. so, uh, and, and those are good. So... With that in mind, not everybody, not all your friends will be your clients. Mm-hmm. No, so, but no you, of course not. But you will have people that will spread the word. Mm-hmm. They will share your message. Yeah. And those are good to stay, to, to, to stay in contact, to, mm-hmm. uh, to keep, let them know what is going on in your life. So yeah. uh, I think, you know, I personally uh, don't think you, you know, when you share stuff, you know, I'm I'm logging in just because it's you. Mm-hmm. It, so if you're if you have a point, if you want to make the point that it's you want to let them know when it's solar and when it's real estate, mm-hmm. then try putting that in the title first and see what happens. Yeah, I have to be more intentional with my videos. And 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 and, and that's all of us. I yeah. think you know. Sometimes we get caught up in the moment and we miss the opportunity to, oh, I forgot about the description or tag this person or, or take a picture, whatever it is. Um, but I think you're good. Mm-hmm. Why, the, why are you worried? I know. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I have, my yeah, own, I have my own things that, you know, the camera doesn't see all the time. I, I do have concerns and I, I do have fears. That's definitely have some fears obviously which I well you come across very secure and very you know you know firm I am <laughs> I am but I have fears too I, you know I, I and it's foolish to, I don't like spiders boy <laughs> I don't know <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like okay <laughs> so but I think pattern interrupt <laughs> <laughs> one, one point or another, one, you know, we are, you know, who, the person who says that is not afraid of anything is lying. To, it's probably trying to affirm themselves that they're not afraid, just like that affirmation the morning mm-hmm. that I'm happy, I'm grateful, blah, blah, you have to repeat it yourself. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be something that is going to scare you. It's so, going to be yeah. something in everybody's but, life. But you have more than 75% of the battle won because yeah. you are aware mm-hmm. of what is that thing. So, and you by you studying, I'm assuming you're gonna be working towards that. So, yeah, I, I've I've spent a lot of time. I am very aware about what is going on within me and outside of me. It's my point of acting on. Okay, now what are you gonna do about it? So, what are you gonna do about it? I like your suggestion about posting. You know, do my because I do like the Facebook lives. You, you what, wouldn't have heard me say that six months ago. What you like? Why you like the Facebook live? Because it it gives me more of an intimate interaction, especially with my family. They're seeing what I'm doing in real live, your real time. Your family's here. I have two brothers that are up in New York, and then I have my older brother Victor, which lives in Orlando. Okay, so. Um, 
So in the, I'm assuming they pop in in your life and mm-hmm. they interact. Nice. And what you don't like about live streams? What don't I like? Yeah. Oh, nothing. You like you like. I love them. them. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. I was in the beginning. I was so nervous to do them. I always had the camera faced away from me. I didn't want the camera focused on me because I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. I was like Adele. You have to get out of that. I, I want to be able to be in front of the camera because I know, you know, a lot of the things that I've been through in my life. They're worth sharing to mm-hmm. help somebody. They, you know, that what I have to say is important too. So I think that's something that you do good that a lot of people don't don't they miss is uh, you add substance to the you know context. A lot of so I've seen a lot of people that are like you know you know they do mm-hmm. nothing. Why I'm watching you? Yeah. You know you share something good. So keep doing them. You know, and 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 I think it. I don't think I know that if you pair with the or if you leverage that live stream for your business, it will take off. And if you if for some reason you decide to go some another route and you partner with somebody mm-hmm. that leverage your live stream, he will make it. He or she will make a killing. John does that. Yeah. He does. Yeah, he definitely has. When we get on the live stream together, it's it's powerful. When you say together, you share the phone like that, or, or both in a. Remote? When we're both in, okay. when we're both in the in the in, in the, the scene. scene in the scene, mm-hmm. yeah. I haven't seen. I haven't. I probably will have to check out one of those. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that. We've done a couple of together where we were looking at houses. They were for sale by owners, which I noticed the one you have. Right yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Take yeah, a picture. Yeah. I'll call him as soon as I get home. <laughs> I think. Well, he, he has uh, multiple houses, and he's just tired of renting. I think he's done mm-hmm. renting. Uh, they had renters there, and they left about a month ago, and mm-hmm. that's it. But I don't know what they're doing to promote it. But I like this place. Cool. It's quiet, so yeah. yeah. I don't play golf, but it's a golf course community. So I guess I gotta learn. <laughs> so what else? What else uh, that, what was the question again? One million dollars. No, no, <laughs> no, you, we, we talked about live stream. You said you liked them, you didn't like it, but you, you had that concern. Any other concern, any other? I don't really have any other concerns other than me being afraid of, and this just sounds stupid, but me being afraid of what people will think, which is foolish on my part, because I've always told my brothers, if you can get out the door and walk out the door and, not give a bleep what anybody thinks do it you know respectfully and respect people and and you know be a a kind person but if you can walk out the door and be you and be you completely without worrying about what anybody thinks you got it made. so that's a good point let, 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 let's let's talk about why why we care why other people say or think about us there's no reason why but but we still do I know you have you thought about that why yeah I don't know you know I'm I'm, I'm very it gets me like when somebody said uh, leave a, a negative comment or say something bad mm-hmm. it gets me for a minute or two and then I get over it like I learned with time to say you know what I know I'm doing the right thing I know I'm doing I'm doing the right thing for other people You're right and I just but but still within that two minutes it consumed my life within mm-hmm. the, those two minutes yeah if I'm thinking about you for more than five minutes and I'm not sleeping with you in, in the bed I'm cutting you from my life completely <laughs> you know if, yeah. if 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 that is you know let me rephrase that so it doesn't sound bad. <laughs> I understand what you're so saying. So if though. if we if 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 you're bringing drama or problems mm-hmm. or you know negativity in my house and or my in my sphere, yep. and we are not sleeping together, you know, you're not my wife. Your wife, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're out of my, I don't know. It just, but it still consumes me for like yep. those couple minutes. Mm-hmm. It's still like I'm thinking and it drains my energy. Well, because people that make comments, derogatory, negative comments. They don't know you. They don't know the person they're there. They're seeing something on the surface that they might not have agreed with or clicked with or understood. So they'll make a nasty comment or they'll leave a, you know, a really rude comment on your feed or just send you a nasty text or something. But that's very rare that ever happens to me anyway. But. So let's jump to, to video. Let's do, so you do a lot of live streams. 
what type of video, so I'm not talking about live stream or pre-record, I'm, I'm talking like how to tips, checklists, mm -hmm. you know, behind the scenes, what type of video has produced the, the best results for you? The best results and actually the ones that I have had fun with was the one where I just, I just turned the camera on and I started reading my gratitude journal. <laughs> nice. That was, that was just, I just, I just did it out of the blue. It was nothing planned. And it was like, I was just reading my gratitude journal one evening before I was going to bed. And I just, I was like, all right, this is perfect time to share this with everybody. Why do you think, why do you think that one, that one was, or is one of your most successful videos? Because it touched me a lot. I mean, it was, it was years and it's an ongoing process for me. A, a book that I had done and years of, of just effort and good thoughts and, I was, you know, it, was, it's, it felt good to show people that, hey, listen, I, if I can do this and sit here and write a couple of things that I'm grateful for in a matter of a few years, I have like a list like that thick. I, I, think, I, think, I think people take for granted the things that we have and we don't appreciate or say that we're grateful often enough, whether it's the smell of coffee mm -hmm. or the the clean clothes or the hot water, mm -hmm. whatever it is, the good night of sleep. The laughter of a child, the wind blowing, you know, the birds chirping. So if that is your most successful, which one do you think is not working for you? Which, you know, which videos would you not do again? <sighs> which ones would I not do again? The first one is because it was personal and you, you, mm -hmm. had, you, you had emotion. Mm -hmm. Any other one that comes to mind that, you know... That I would not... Uh, yeah. Not that I can think of that I would not do. Because whatever I do and I put it out there, at least I can go back and check it out and see, but like, oh, I did good there, I did good there, and I'm kind of able to critique myself too. What is that one challenge that you face when, when it comes to video? When I come to video? Yeah. Sometimes with the audio. The audio? Yeah. And that's, that's... Have you thought about using a, a mic? I do have one of those for my phone, but yeah. the one that I got off of Amazon, and I'm not knocking Amazon, I love Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> it just, I, maybe I didn't read it right. It, it, when it clicks into my phone, everything goes haywire. I can't even use it. The you have Android clip. or? Android, yeah. Okay. Hmm. But the microphone handheld one, Anthony, let me borrow. That works. That works. That works. So beautifully. Yes. That one works so yeah. crisp and clear. Do you know? You remember the brand by any chance? No, no. No. Okay. So early we talked about time management. Mm -hmm. You know why are you working on that? Because I know how much it adds to my success. Well, Without having my day planned, managed, scheduled, you know, I'll be walking around. Jumping at any opportunity that comes up. Do you plan your day that morning or the night before? I found that planning it like on a Sunday evening mm -hmm. or on the weekend and planning for the week, it works. Because I already have it in my mind, so, so I'll go to sleep and then I'll have it planned. So you plan Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday mm -hmm. on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And you don't touch that plan or you don't adjust? Well, you have to adjust. That's this, I just started doing that. And you have to definitely. You I have, don't adjust. You don't adjust. No, if no. you if a client comes, uh, the only so. Well, the, when it what's with the difference between with the investing, we uh, have to have leave so, time open to look for houses. So what I do is I so no I book the, I block that time uh, mm -hmm. or driving time. But if a client uh, cancels uh, or something happened that I find myself with free time, then I do admin work. Because mm -hmm. that's always yeah. what is behind. That's always that's always what is behind. Mm -hmm. uh, but or I read. I'm trying to finish a book. But uh, you know, if, if somebody wants to say, and even if I have an opening for this week, and somebody comes, let's say that you cancel, mm -hmm. and somebody say, "Can you do have a a, a video at two o'clock?" I said, "No, the next appointment is next week." Like I don't I don't jump that. But mm -hmm. I, I think I I, I started. I started give, giving people boundaries, like yeah. more you know respecting. That's Right now is where I'm at because that's the hugest thing. That's like one of the biggest thing is to have those set boundaries. You have to have set boundaries. If you don't have set boundaries, everybody will be pulling for your time. 
and everybody will be wanting your what, time. When you say like that, when give me an example. What is one thing that is like, what is it? I call them time vampires that they suck the time out of you and you are not aware. Facebook. I love Facebook. I'm not knocking Facebook, but Facebook messaging and text messaging. And there should be, I say there should be, because I am like one of the worst for getting really back at, really fast at messages. And it's kind of when you do that and when I do that, it takes me away from what I'm doing. And then, and then it'll take me a few more minutes Have to you? get back in. So I'm, I'm, for me, I want to take it where I only answer messages at a certain time of the day or I'll only look at my email and answer emails at a certain time of the day. So I'm able to block other chunks of time for important things that, you know, if I'm doing them, they're not being done half. So what are you trying to, what are you currently doing to solve that issue or that challenge? Focusing more on what I'm, I should be doing. And what breaks your focus? If, which I have my phone is, is never letting me notify. I don't like to have any so, notifications. So you have all the notifications off? All of everything oh, is off. Okay. So at any time I, you know, which I've made it a habit to keep checking my phone because yeah. I know that the notifications off. Yeah. So it's just, that's something I have to work on is to, you know, say, Hey, I'm going to sit down for an hour and focus only on this, or I'm going to sit down for an hour and focus on making these phone calls. And then I'm going to sit down for an hour and then focus on reading this book. Somebody told me, some, somebody told me a long time ago, um, uh, that, uh, structure equals freedom. Yeah. So when you, when you give yourself like, At first, I didn't want to accept it because I wanted to be free, mm -hmm. but I was all over the place. And when I gave myself a structure like the one that you just mentioned, and like from this time to this time, I'm going to do this. And I, and I gave, at first I struggled, but then I was kind of racing against the clock because I needed, I knew that, let's say nine o'clock came in, I wasn't mm -hmm. going to work in that task anymore. So I just, okay, it's like, have you tried to use the, the egg, the timer? Mm -mm. It's a time management mindset hack that when you run, when you know that you're against the clock, you tend to be fast. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, you're going, you haven't packed your suitcases and you're going tonight and you pack over, <laughs> you, you pack really fast. Yeah. Uh, it's that, that type of mindset. So um, I tried that. I used to have eggs, but now I just, you know, I, I do my best to work on, like I'm editing some videos now. And when mm -hmm. I finish that, I don't touch anything else until I finish that. Yeah. But uh, focus is, I think it's, one of my biggest problems as well yeah. I, I, avoiding the distractions well I'm at a point where I'm like I know what I should be doing and I know what I have to get done but if I get you know like a phone call or a message or then I go on so, Facebook so, and I start going through the feed it's so, like okay two hours later Adele what are you doing <laughs> so you know what you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be doing yes. what you should be doing mm -hmm. but why I'm in the same book but yeah. why we deviate from that Discipline. So, so if everything, if all our issues right now, challenges is because of lack of discipline, should we try? To I would be? say a, 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 it's a mixture of discipline and perception. So let's talk about discipline. I th that area is one of my, you know, like sometimes I say, okay, I'll do it later. Mm -hmm. Discipline. Somebody told, yes. Yeah, Discipline. I think, you know, so should we learn more about, should we learn more skills or get better at discipline before we get in and learn about something else? Or do you don't think that discipline is something that you can... I believe with any skill that we develop, discipline is the number one skill to develop. Because without discipline, how are you going to sit there and you're going to learn Spanish? Without discipline, how are you going to be a top-notch tennis player? Without discipline, how are you going to be uh, number one in, you know, the speech contest? Without that <laughs> discipline, you're not going to have that number one place. So what are people, what are people doing that, have, that you've seen to improve their discipline or, what, or something that you've tried? Well, for getting up early in the morning. That's my weak point, And I know that is. That's a weak point that I know if I work on it, it's going to help me. Why do you struggle to wake up early in the morning? Because you go to bed late? No, no, not at all. I love sleep. I mean, I can sleep for mm. like 10 hours. Mm. But I don't need that. 
And I get, when I sleep too long, I have, you know, I'm groggy all day. And if I don't sleep enough, I'm groggy all day. I know my sweet spot. It's a, it's a between seven and eight hours. I'm shooting for seven right now. Mm -hmm. Last night I had six. But it says no, no, nothing with me going to bed late. It's, I know what it is. It's, I haven't put a why or a purpose or something that's going to pull me to get up. So here's to say, get up. Okay, now. But now I have it. And it's all, I'm, I'm doing everything because I'm in love with people. I love people. And I, f I don't educate myself. How can I educate anybody around me? So let me ask you, you say you have your why. So you, it's, yeah. it's personal or something you can share? I just shared it. It's people. It's oh, my love okay. for people. So, but at the, at the beginning of our conversation, we were talking about uh, splitting your time mm -hmm. between both. So do you think if you get up an hour early, instead of having 10 hours, you have nine mm -hmm. or eight and you get to, can you put those two hours to one business and then two more and the other one is like, you know, a part time and mm -hmm. then the rest of the day driving around Tampa having fun? Yeah, that makes sense. No, no yes. Yeah. Actually, I had a friend of mine which noticed he's an investor. We went to go meet with him about two weeks ago. And he's like, I noticed, Adele, you're doing a couple of things. And he's really, he's such a good person. Such an awesome guy, Jim Jokel. He's a really good person. And he's like, I'm going to send you a planner, like a day plan. And you is, you use one? I He sent me one, and I'm looking at it, and it's like, okay, between 7 and 9, breakfast, exercise, reading a little bit, and then, you know, from, uh, what is it, like 10 to 12, you have other, like, Emails, follow up, phone calls, da 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 da. What type of planner that have you seen? Do you do you did you get you get you yeah, get? Yeah, he's got it. He sent it to me on okay. the email. Okay, okay. Are you a paper person? You like? I'm a paper person. Okay. Yeah, I got okay. my book. I'm a paper okay. person. That, yeah. It's a notebook. Mm -hmm. What? So what is the format? What is the format that you use in that one? It's like like that, like not like times or. How, or how, do you use a specific format like the bullet journal or something like that? No, it's just the times. The time? Um, yeah. Have you tried to use a productivity journal? Mm -mm. No? We're going to give her one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my friend, I hope you enjoyed this video, this conversation I have with Adele. I would love to know what is one thing that you got out of this conversation. Just leave it in the comments down below. And if for some reason you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so YouTube can let you know the next time I upload a video. With that said, my friend, Angel Anderson here. See you in the next one. Peace out.